So today we're going to talk about the envelope in the OP1. Um, if we just select um, a synth patch, um, in this case um, I've just got um, the wood xylo selected in cluster. Uh, and then back onto the synthesizer section and make sure the effects are off. Um, if we just look at the um, the standard envelope you can see that what we've got is that the blue control affects the attack of the envelope, the green the decay, the white the sustain uh, position and the release time is affected with the orange. What I did in the Golden Age um, track which um, you can just have a quick um, li listen to I used uh, an envelope to get that reverse tape type effect. Um, so if we go back to the synth, um, you can hear that um, that sounds quite uh, uninteresting at the moment. What I did to get that ramp up is I just gave it quite a, a, sh um, a long um, attack. Um, Um, so um, the point I'm trying to make is that um, you can get some quite interesting sounds using the uh, envelope rather than just tweaking the synthesizer parameters. Um, another example of that is if I select more of a, a plucky, uh, clicky type uh, synthesizer sound. In this case it's coin um, uh, preset. Um, what I want to do here is, is just remove the release time altogether, give it a very short attack. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch the sequencer on and um, I've just got a, a very simple um, retro synth type um, sequence running. What I want to do is just demonstrate how you can build up and um, evolve the um, the sound using envelopes. So I'll go back to the envelope. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak the release um, to try and bring uh, more um, a more dynamic sound to the uh, to the uh, synth sound as it moves along in time without really affecting any other parameters, just the release. So you can see that ad that adds more effect. I'll just um, give another example. Just um, just tweaking, um, also using the uh, the attack, uh, just to show how we can get the sound to evolve. If we have a look at the drum synth, the drum synth's got a different envelope. Um, it just looks like um, a flat line and it's not very conventional. Uh, this is more like a transient shaper uh, than an envelope. Um, what it tries to do is get the transient in the, the drum hits um, to 
be a little bit more pronounced. So let's have a listen to some of the changes that that makes. We'll just remove any effects. So that's almost dulled the, uh, the snare, you can't hear the snare chains at all. Um, And again, it's um, something that you can use as an effect rather than just uh, um, uh, set it and go.